In the realm of royalty, elegance and opulence reign supreme, and Princess Anisha Rosner epitomizes both with unparalleled grace. Her regal demeanor, coupled with her immense wealth, positions her as a beacon of sophistication. Alongside her stands Prince Abdul Mateen, her esteemed husband, further enhancing the allure of their royal union. Their marriage signifies more than just a joining of families, it represents a blend of tradition and modernity. In today's video, we delve into their relationship, uncovering the intricacies of their bond amidst the backdrop of Brunei's opulent royal lifestyle. Join us as we embark on an enchanting journey into the trillionaire life of Princess Anisha Rosner, the Princess of Brunei. Anisha Rosner, a name that now resonates with royalty, was born into a prominent family. Born on November 6, 1994 in London, United Kingdom, Anisha was destined for a life that would intertwine with both privilege and responsibility. Growing up, she was surrounded by a loving family and had the opportunity to explore her passions and talents. Anisha's childhood was marked by a multicultural upbringing. Bringing. Her father, Ivica Adam Kalabic, hails from Croatia, while her mother, Siti Mariam Issa, is of Brunei and Malay descent. This unique blend of cultures would shape Anisha's worldview and contribute to her ability to connect with people from diverse backgrounds. From a young age, Anisha displayed a remarkable talent for various activities. She immersed herself in the world of music, learning to play the piano, violin and guitar. Her musical prowess was evident, and it became a source of joy and self-expression for her. But Anisha's interests extended beyond music. She also had a passion for horse riding, spending countless hours honing her skills and developing a deep connection with these majestic creatures. This early exposure to equestrian pursuits instilled in her a sense of discipline, perseverance and a love for nature. Anisha's parents recognized her potential and fostered her curiosity by encouraging her to explore her interests further. They enrolled her in Gerudong International School, a prestigious co-educational boarding and day school in Brunei, Southeast Asia, where she had the opportunity to receive a well-rounded education. Alongside her four siblings, siblings, Anisha flourished in this nurturing environment, surrounded by like-minded individuals who shared her thirst for knowledge and personal growth. As she grew older, Anisha's curiosity about the world intensified. She yearned to broaden her horizons and immerse herself in different cultures. This desire led her to pursue higher education at the prestigious University of Bath in the United Kingdom. In 2013, she embarked on a journey to study European studies with a focus on French and Spanish. During her time at the University of Bath, Anisha's intellectual curiosity was further fueled by the diverse academic opportunities available to her. She delved into the intricacies of European history, politics and languages, expanding her understanding of the world and its complexities. Her dedication and hard work earned her the respect and admiration of her peers and professors, but Anisha's thirst for knowledge didn't stop there. She yearned for first-hand experiences of different cultures and languages. In pursuit of this, she embarked on a semester abroad at Complutense University in Madrid. This immersive experience allowed her to deepen her understanding of Spanish culture and language while forging lifelong connections with people from around the world. To complement her academic endeavors, Anisha sought practical experiences in her field. Securing a work placement in Paris, she seized the opportunity to apply her language skills and immerse herself in the vibrant French culture. This hands-on experience enriched her understanding of European society and solidified her passion for cultural exchange. In the rich tapestry of her life, Princess Anisha has woven a legacy of entrepreneurship and innovation. As the proud proprietor of the esteemed fashion house, Silk Collective, she has redefined elegance and sophistication. Through her visionary designs, she has adorned the elite with garments that exude timeless beauty and refined taste. Beyond the realm of fashion, Princess Anisha stands as a co-founder of Authentiary, a trailblazing travel agency dedicated to offering immersive cultural experiences worldwide. From the bustling markets of Marrakesh to the tranquil temples of Kyoto, Authentiary orchestrates journeys that reveal the essence of each destination fostering connections and understanding among diverse cultures. Anisha Rosner's journey through life has been shaped not only by her own accomplishments, but also by the love and support of her family. Her family background is a tapestry of diverse connections and relationships that have played a significant role in shaping the person she has become. Anisha's paternal grandfather, Pehin Dato Issa, holds a special advisory role to the Sultan of Brunei. This familial tie to the royal family adds a layer of prestige and responsibility to Anisha's life. It also serves serves as a testament to the deep-rooted connections and influence her family holds within Brunei's esteemed circles. Anisha's parents, Siti Mariam Issa and Ivica Adam Kalabic, have played pivotal roles in her upbringing. While her parents are divorced, their love and support for Anisha have remained unwavering. They have nurtured her talents, encouraged her passions, and instilled in her the values of resilience and determination. Anisha's family extends beyond her immediate household. She shares a close bond with her siblings, Daniel Dean Issa Kalebic and Idris Issa Kalebic, as well 
well as her sister, Marina Isa Kalevic. Together, they have navigated life's challenges and celebrated each other's successes. Their shared experiences have forged unbreakable bonds of love and support. From her father's other relationships, Anisha has four half-siblings, Alexander, Anna Maria, Jean-Pierre, and Natasha. This blended family dynamic has enriched Anisha's life, exposing her to diverse perspectives and fostering a sense of unity and understanding. Anisha's family ties extend beyond blood relations. Her brother, Daniel Dean Isa Kalebic, shares a close friendship with her husband, Prince Abdul Mateen, and it's speculated that's how the met. Prince Abdul Mateen, born on August 10, 1991 in Brunei, is the 10th child and 4th son of Sultan Hassan al-Balkia and his former second wife, Mariam Abdul Aziz. From a young age, Prince Abdul Mateen displayed a thirst for knowledge and a keen interest in his education. He received his primary education at St. Andrew's School in Bandar Seri Begawan, where he laid the foundation for his academic journey. Continuing his secondary education, Prince Abdul Mateen attended the prestigious Paduka Seri Begawan Sultan Science College and Jerudong International School. These institutions provided him with a well-rounded education, nurturing his intellectual curiosity and preparing him for future endeavors. Prince Abdul Mateen's pursuit of knowledge did not stop there. In July 2014, he embarked on a new chapter in his academic journey, enrolling at King's College London. It was here that he pursued a Bachelor of Arts degree in international politics, immersing himself in the intricacies of global affairs. His time at King's College London broadened his horizons and equipped him with a deeper understanding of the world. Not content with just one degree, Prince Abdul Mateen's thirst for knowledge mirrored that of his wife, Princess Anisha. In July 2016, he attained a Master of Arts degree in International Studies and Diplomacy from the School of Oriental and African Studies, University of London. This advanced degree further solidified his expertise in international relations and diplomacy, preparing him for a future where his influence would extend beyond the borders of Brunei. Prince Abdul Mateen also had a passion for the military from a young age, actively engaging in numerous military-related events, which foreshadowed a remarkable career in service to his country. His journey in the military began at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in 2010, where he embarked on a commissioning course for regular army officers. This transformative experience honed his physical and mental capabilities, instilling in him the values of discipline and leadership. Graduating from the Sovereign's Parade Commissioning Course 102 in 2011 marked the start of Prince Abdul Mateen's military career, as he was promoted to the rank of Second Lieutenant. Attached to prestigious regiments like the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment's Lifeguards and the Blues and Royals, he gained invaluable experience and developed his skills as a military officer. Prince Abdul Mateen's dedication led to promotions, including Substantive Lieutenant in 2012 and Major in 2021. His pursuit of excellence extended to specialized training, such as becoming a qualified helicopter pilot and completing elite courses like the All Arms Commando course. These achievements reflect his unwavering commitment and leadership within the military ranks. Prince Abdul Mateen's influence extends far beyond his military achievements. His diplomatic career has allowed him to represent his country on the global stage and forge meaningful connections with leaders worldwide. In November 2015, Prince Abdul Mateen attended the 24th Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Malta, representing his father, Sultan Hassan al Bolkia. His presence showcased his growing influence and the trust placed in him. Another significant event was the inauguration ceremony of the Oxford Centre for Islamic Studies New Building in May 2017, where Prince Abdul Mateen demonstrated his commitment to promoting education and cultural understanding. His diplomatic engagements also include bilateral meetings in Amman, Jordan, and participation in events like the 12th Asia-Europe meeting in Brussels, demonstrating Brunei's commitment to international cooperation and showcasing Prince Abdul Mateen's role in advancing the country's interests globally. Anisha and Abdul Mateen's relationship has been shrouded in secrecy since its inception in 2018. Despite the lack of public information, information, rumors of their romance persisted, capturing the curiosity of royal watchers worldwide. It wasn't until October 2023 that news of Prince Mateen's engagement to Anisha emerged, revealed through an official statement from his father, Sultan Haji Hassan al bolkia By the royal command of His Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al bolkia Mu'izadin Wadawla of Brunei Darussalam, the palace has announced the upcoming wedding of His Royal Highness Prince Abdul Mateen and Anisha Isa Kalebic will be held from 7 to the 16th of January 2023. 24, the statement declared, as reported by Town & Country. The wedding festivities that ensued, spanning over 10 days from January 7th to 16th, 2024, were nothing short of spectacular. The wedding of the decade.
The wedding festivities of Prince Abdul Mateen and Princess Anisha kicked off with a mesmerizing ceremony known as the Khatam Quran. This special event, held a week before the wedding, involved a sacred reading of the Quran, symbolizing blessings and divine guidance for the couple's journey ahead. Anisha, the radiant bride-to-be, stole the spotlight as she embraced elegance during her Khatam Quran event. The world caught a glimpse of her first bridal look when the renowned designer Tay Firdaus shared images on Instagram. The caption read, Honored to play a role in the Brunei royal wedding, witness the grace of young Mulia Dayang Anisha Rosna Adam Isa Kalabik in our custom-made Baju Kurung in intricately woven Tenunan Brunei. Anisha's bridal attire was a masterpiece, meticulously crafted to showcase the rich cultural heritage of Brunei. Her Baju Kurung, a traditional Malay dress, was adorned with intricate patterns and made from intricately woven Tenunan Brunei fabric. The ensemble exuded elegance and grace, perfectly complementing the bride's natural beauty. As Anisha made her way to the Khatam Quran ceremony, the air was filled with anticipation. The venue was adorned with exquisite decorations, creating an atmosphere of serenity and reverence. The guests, dressed in their finest attire, eagerly awaited the arrival of the bride. When Anisha entered the room, all eyes were on her. Her presence commanded attention, and her beauty left everyone in awe. The soft glow of the chandeliers illuminated her delicate features, accentuating her radiant smile. Her eyes sparkled with excitement and joy, reflecting the love she shared with Prince Abdul Mateen. The ceremony commenced with the recitation of sacred verses from the Quran, filling the room with a sense of spirituality and tranquility. As the verses resonated through the air, Anisha's inner strength and grace shone through, captivating everyone present. The Katam Quran ceremony was a testament to the couple's deep-rooted faith and their commitment to starting their married life on a foundation of spirituality. It was a moment of reflection and gratitude as they sought blessings for their journey together. Anisha's first bridal look at the Katam Quran ceremony was a glimpse into the fairy tale that was about to unfold. Her beauty, elegance and the cultural significance of her attire set the stage for the grand celebrations to come. As the wedding celebrations continued in Brunei, the anticipation grew for the next extraordinary event, the Istiadat Berbadak, an elaborate and centuries-old powdering ceremony. This traditional ritual, deeply rooted in Malaysian and Bruneian culture, symbolized the blessings and well wishes bestowed upon the couple as they embarked on their journey of marital bliss. The day of the ceremony arrived, and the atmosphere was filled with excitement and grandeur. The couple arrived separately. Prince Abdul Mateen, the dashing groom, arrived first, heralded by a parade of 40 spear carriers and a resounding 17-gun salute. The air was thick with anticipation as the Sultan and his wife, the parents of the groom, prepared to bless their beloved son. Abdul Mateen, dressed in a meticulously crafted red ensemble, exuded regal charm and elegance. Every detail of his attire was carefully considered, from the intricate embroidery to the lavish decorations. The richness of the fabric and the vibrant hue of red symbolized prosperity and good fortune, setting the stage for a joyous celebration. As the Sultan and his wife bestowed their blessings upon Abdul Mateen, the room was filled with a sense of reverence and love. The couple's presence radiated warmth and happiness, and their gestures of affection towards their son were deeply touching. Soon after, it was time for Anisha Rosner, the stunning bride, to undergo the same blessings. She arrived resplendent in a matching red outfit, perfectly coordinated with Abdul Mateen. The couple's attire was a testament to the meticulous craftsmanship and attention to detail that went into creating their wedding ensembles. Anisha's outfit was a work of art, adorned with exquisite embellishments and intricate designs. The richness of the fabric and the intricate embroidery showcased the cultural heritage of Brunei, while the vibrant red color symbolized love and passion. As she entered the room, all eyes were on her, captivated by her beauty and grace. The powdering ceremony began as close family members lovingly applied paste to the hands of the couple. This act symbolized the blessings of a happy, fertile, and prosperous married life. In some families, the paste was applied to the entire body, further emphasizing the significance of the ritual. As the powdering ceremony unfolded, the room was filled with a sense of joy and celebration. The couple's smiles radiated happiness, and their love for each other was palpable. The blessings bestowed upon them by their loved ones were a testament to the strong bonds of family and the support they would have through 
throughout their married life. The Istiadat Berberdak was not only a celebration of love and unity, but also a showcase of Brunei's rich cultural heritage. The lavish outfits worn by the couple were a testament to the country's tradition of intricate craftsmanship and attention to detail. The coordinated red ensembles symbolized their shared journey and the vibrant future that awaited them. After the elaborate powdering ceremony, the wedding celebrations of Prince Abdul Mateen and Princess Anisha continued with solemnization ceremonies that were steeped in tradition and symbolism. Inside the magnificent gold-domed Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque in the heart of Bandar Seri Begawan, the capital city of Brunei, the couple embarked on a journey of commitment and love. Abdul Mateen, accompanied by his father, Sultan Hassan al Bolkia, took his place on a special mat known as Kasu Namat, surrounded by four ceremonial candles called Dian Empat. Dressed in traditional white wedding attire adorned with diamond motifs and a matching headpiece, the prince looked every bit the regal groom. As the ceremony commenced, the air was filled with a sense of reverence and anticipation. The verses of the Quran echoed through the mosque, symbolizing the couple's commitment to their faith and the blessings they sought for their union. The sacred atmosphere was further enhanced by the presence of their loved ones who witnessed this beautiful moment of solemnization. Abdul Mateen accepted the Akkad Nika, the marriage solemnization from the Kasur Namat, signifying his commitment to his new wife and their shared journey ahead. The love and support of his father, Sultan Hassan al Bolkia, were evident as he stood by his side, offering guidance and blessings. After the exchange of vows, the mosque reverberated with joyous applause and heartfelt congratulations. The couple's smiles radiated happiness, and their love for each other was palpable. The solemnization ceremonies were a testament to the couple's deep-rooted faith and their commitment to upholding tradition and family values. Following the solemnization ceremonies, the convivial spirit reached its crescendo with the grand reception, where the couple was recognized as husband and wife for the first time. The reception, known as Bersanding, took place in the royal throne hall of Istana Nurul Iman, the official residence of the Sultan. Anisha, carrying a small bouquet crafted in silver with gem embellishments, looked resplendent as she walked down the aisle. Her beauty was enhanced by a parure of diamond earrings and a weighty-looking diamond necklace, which added a touch of glamour to her bridal ensemble. The guests were in awe of her elegance and grace as she took her place beside her beloved prince. The reception hall was adorned with opulent decorations, reflecting the grandeur of the occasion. The atmosphere was filled with joy and celebration as the couple was greeted with cheers and applause. The guests, including dignitaries and esteemed personalities, had gathered to honor the royal couple and witness this momentous occasion. As the evening unfolded, the couple embarked on a procession through the streets of Bandar Seri Begawan, accompanied by billboards celebrating their union and other festive regalia. The city came alive with excitement as crowds lined the streets, eager to catch a glimpse of the newlyweds. The couple, seated in an open-top Rolls-Royce, waved to their adoring fans who showered them with love and well-wishes. The grand reception was a testament to the love and support the couple received from their family, friends and the people of Brunei. It was a joyous celebration of their union filled with laughter, music and dancing. The atmosphere was electric and the couple's happiness was contagious, spreading joy to all who were present. Through the wedding, Anisha Rosner was officially bestowed with the prestigious title of Penjuran Anakisteri, signifying her role as princess consort. With this honor, she ascended to the esteemed ranks of the Brunei royal family, solidifying her position within its illustrious lineage, the royal family of Brunei. Brunei's royal family is synonymous with wealth, power, and a 600 years old dynasty. This tiny sultanate on Borneo Island has a rich history that stretches back to the 14th century. In the 14th century, a Western Bornean prince emerged as a pivotal figure in the history of Brunei's royal family. This prince, whose name has been lost to time, became the first sultan of Brunei, marking the beginning of a 600 year old dynasty that would shape the fate of the sultanate. According to the elders of the House of Bolkia, the ruling family of Brunei, their lineage can be traced back to Yemen. However, due to the lack of official records from that time, the exact details of Brunei's early history remain shrouded in mystery. What we do know is that this Western Bornean prince, through his charisma and leadership, united the people of Brunei and established a strong foundation for the Sultanate. It was during this period that Muhammad Shah ascended to the throne as the first Sultan of Brunei. Under his rule, Brunei began its transformation from a small settlement into a prosperous empire. The Sultanate flourished, with trade routes expanding and diplomatic relations being established 
established with neighbouring kingdoms. Brunei's strategic location on the island of Borneo played a crucial role in its growth and influence. The Sultanate became a hub for maritime trade, attracting merchants from far and wide. The wealth generated from this trade allowed the Sultans to invest in the development of their kingdom, building grand mosques, palaces and fortifications. As the empire expanded, Brunei's influence reached its peak in the 16th century. The Sultans of Brunei controlled vast territories including parts of present-day Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines. Their power and wealth were the envy of neighboring kingdoms, and Brunei became a center of culture, learning and Islamic scholarship. However, the empire's golden age was not destined to last. The arrival of European colonial powers in Southeast Asia marked a turning point in Brunei's history. The Portuguese were the first to arrive in Brunei in the early 16th century. Their goal was to control the lucrative spice trade in the region. However, the Brunei royal family, led by Sultan Abdul Kahar, fiercely resisted the Portuguese incursion. Despite their valiant efforts, Brunei eventually succumbed to Portuguese influence, losing control over some of its territories. In the following centuries, Brunei faced further challenges as the Spanish and British vied for control over the region. The Spanish, driven by their desire for wealth and power, sought to establish a stronghold in Southeast Asia. They targeted Brunei as a strategic location for their ambitions. However, the Brunei royal family, under the leadership of Sultan Muhyiddin, managed to repel the Spanish forces and maintain their independence. In 1888, Sultan Hashim Jalilul Alam Akamadin signed the Treaty of Protection with the British, effectively making Brunei a British protectorate. This marked the beginning of a new era for Brunei, as the Sultanate became increasingly dependent on British support and guidance. The Brunei royal family, while retaining their position as the ruling authority, had to navigate the complexities of colonial rule. During this period, Brunei faced significant challenges. The Sultanate experienced a loss of sovereignty and control over its territories. The British imposed their administrative systems and introduced new laws that reshaped Brunei's governance. The Brunei royal family had to adapt to these changes while striving to maintain their cultural identity and traditions. Over the centuries, Brunei gradually lost its territories to the colonial powers. The once mighty empire was reduced to a small sultanate, confined to its present-day borders. Despite these setbacks, the spirit of the Brunei royal family endured, and they continued to play a significant role in the region. They worked closely with the British administration to ensure the well-being of their people and the continued development of the Sultanate. Today, under the reign of Sultan Hassan al bolkiah the current Sultan of Brunei, the Sultanate has transformed into a modern and prosperous nation. The wealth of the Brunei royal family unfolds as a tale of unparalleled opulence. Sultan Hassan al bolkiah the country's leader, ranks among the world's wealthiest royals with a staggering fortune, estimated at $30 billion. Despite Brunei being the fifth leading oil producer in Southeast Asia, behind nations like Indonesia and Malaysia, its crude oil and natural gas exports have propelled Sultan Bolkiah into the echelons of the world's richest individuals. Notably, he was crowned the world's wealthiest man by Forbes in 1988. The opulence of Sultan Bolkiah's lifestyle extends to his extensive car collection, renowned as the largest in the world. This impressive fleet boasts approximately 7,000 rare cars, including a gold-coated Rolls-Royce, with an estimated combined value exceeding 5 billion US dollars. Among his prized possessions are 500 Rolls-Royce and 300 Ferraris, a testament to his affinity for luxury automobiles. Beyond automobiles, Sultan Bolkiah's indulgences extend to the skies, with a fleet of private jets equipped with lavish amenities. Notably, his collection includes a Boeing 747, 400 jet plated with gold, featuring opulent facilities such as a living room and bedroom. Additionally, his majestic Istana Nur al-Iman Palace stands as a testament to extravagance, boasting more than 1,700 rooms, 257 bathrooms, and five swimming pools. With 110 garages and air-conditioned stables for 200 horses, the palace epitomizes unparalleled luxury. However, the Brunei royal family and its powerful leader, Sultan Hassan al bolkiah have long been shrouded in controversy and scandal. From allegations of sexual abuse and to the implementation of controversial legislation, the controversies surrounding the Brunei royal family have captivated the world. In 1997, Shannon Marketic, a woman with dreams of a glamorous career, found herself entangled in a web of darkness and abuse. Marketic filed a lawsuit against Jeffrey Bolkiah, the Prince of Brunei and younger brother of Sultan Hassan al bolkiah Her claims were nothing short of horrifying. According to Marketic, she and several other women were hired for what they believed to be promotional work, only to discover that they were virtual prisoners subjected to drugging and sexual abuse. For 18 long months, the case unfolded in the US court system, captivating the media and the public. The Sultan himself vehemently denied the claims made against his brother, standing firmly in defense of the royal family's reputation. But as the evidence mounted, the truth began to emerge. Despite the shocking nature of the allegations, the lawsuit ultimately 
faced a major setback. In a surprising turn of events, a judge dismissed the case on the grounds that the Sultan, as the head of state, enjoyed sovereign immunity. This legal protection shielded him from the consequences of the allegations, leaving Marketic and the other women without the justice they sought. This incident raised questions about the royal family's involvement and protection of its image. Further controversy ensued with the implementation of anti-LGBT legislation in Brunei under Sultan Hassan al-Bolkiah's leadership. Death by stoning for sodomy and adultery and amputation for stealing. Rights groups have condemned Brunei's new laws. These laws, including death by stoning for same-sex acts, sparked international condemnation and calls for boycotts of Brunei-owned businesses, such as the Dorchester Collection of Hotels. While the Sultan later announced a moratorium on capital punishment for homosexuality and pledged to ratify the United Nations Convention Against Torture, skepticism remained regarding the true extent of his commitment to human rights. Despite the controversies, Princess Anisha Rosner, now officially bestowed with the title of Pengiran Anakisteri, remains part of the Brunei royal family's wealth and influence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on one of the boxes playing on your screen to watch more similar content.